Hey guys, Dominic Lewis again from Focus Camera and check this out. I got my hands on the brand new Sony Xperia XZ3 phone. This is actually the third phone of the XZ series as you can tell obviously, but this is the first OLED screen that Sony has put into any of their phones, meaning that this screen is absolutely ridiculous when it comes to color and vibrance. This phone is amazing. It comes integrated with Android 9 right out of the box. It has this brand new thing called Side Sense technology which you can use to double tap to bring up your menu. It has 64 gigabytes of integrated storage that's expandable up to 512 gigabytes using any of your micro SD cards and it also has 4 gigabytes of RAM and a partridge in a pear tree. But let's go into things that really matter because as a photographer we really want to know what type of camera this thing has. Knowing that Sony has produced some of the greatest cams that we've seen in the last five years looking at the A7 series that has all, that's just pretty much revolutionized the entire game which forced everyone else to kind of try to keep up with them and also we've seen some of their better cyber shot cameras even uh, looking at this Sony RX100 camera that's honestly the best thing for vlogging I use this thing all the time it actually has a 1 2 3rd inch sensor which is the same as their brand new cyber shot X HX99 camera which also has a 19 megapixel rear camera a 13 megapixel front camera I know everyone's thinking like oh yeah an iPhone this is the greatest sensor but hey Guess who makes the sensors in iPhone cameras? Sony does. This thing has a lot of cool features. I'm gonna be walking around. I'm gonna go down to Dumbo, uh, Brooklyn today, show you guys some of the cool features that this phone has. This thing has a lot of cool things and you'll be surprised. Really, you'll be surprised. I was surprised myself. I just started actually playing with this. I've only had this phone for about 24 hours, but just playing with some of the features just in the camera side alone, which I, that's the only thing I really care about. I use my phone to make phone calls, go on Instagram, take pictures. That's it. Okay, so let's head out to Dumbo, Brooklyn. Let's go, guys. I mean, it's a front camera. I mean, there's some there's some cameras out there that are full DSLRs that don't shoot video quality this good. That's an amazing thing. So we're gonna try this out a little more. I want you guys to understand that this camera, I would say, is a great camera for vloggers. Meaning, because look how wide this screen is. I can get so much into my frame, and it's so light. So I don't really need to carry much else. Uh, I'm using an external recorder, but I easily could have attach my microphone to the camera I'm good to go a lot of reviews said that this camera overexposes shots a lot which necessarily isn't a bad thing because you know as photographers when we edit it's better to have an overexposed image and an underexposed image you can always bring detail out of the highlights but it's kind of impossible to bring you know bring stuff out of the shadows you lose a lot of detail so it's one of the plus sides of this camera blown back of how bright this OLED screen is. So I'm wearing my sunglasses right now and usually when I'm shooting with my iPhone, I can't see a thing on my screen. But this screen is so bright and so large, I can see everything. I don't need to take my sunglasses off. This thing is amazing. So I'm down here in Dumbo, Brooklyn today and I'm gonna try out a little bit of the photos with this camera. So one thing I do like is that because it's a Sony phone, it does have built-in manual controls. Um, so I'm looking at the manual controls this thing has. The shutter speed goes all the way up to one four thousandth of a second, and it goes all the way down to one second, which means I can do some pretty cool um, blur motion images, even some like long exposure images with this camera. ISO range goes from ISO 50 all the way up to 12,800, which hopefully I never have to go that high. But cool thing is I have full control of my image. You can even control the white balance. I control the uh, exposure. And the coolest thing is I can set it from autofocus to manual focus. Cause you know, sometimes the cameras just aren't smart enough to know exactly what you want. So that means I can set this in my camera and tell it, you know what, I got this. The cool thing is I'm in full control of my image. I can set my ISO to whatever I want it to be. ISO 100, let me see, one four thousandth of a second. 
I'm really excited to see how this thing shoots. And you can do the same thing in video as well. So you have full control over your video. So this really is a camera that's built for photographers. This is not for amateur use, okay? No amateur is allowed. This camera is really made for people who understand what they want and how they want it to look. All right. So I'm gonna go down a little further because I wanna show you guys some of the cool uh, features and, and modes they have built into this phone. Some of the cool things that set this phone apart from some of the other phones that's out on the market right now. Built right into the camera, there are a couple different modes that this camera does do. Um, so, so one of the first ones you have is portrait selfie, which is kind of cool because it's kind of the same effect that you get with any of the iPhones where you get that portrait mode, you can blur the background. It has, gives you a couple more options than the iPhone does do, so you can get pretty creative with this. I'm gonna take a little quick selfie. Let's do one more. Okay, yeah, so it has that portrait mode in there, so that's the same exact thing the iPhone does have. The cool thing about this though, what makes it different than the iPhone is that you can control the bokeh, you can control the softness of your skin, the brightness of your skin, the enlargement of your eyes, and the slenderness of your face, which is absolutely creepy. So no need for that app anymore, so you can you know, give yourself those stunning effects. You can just do it right in your phone. So besides that, let's see what else we got. We got a thing called Google Lens that actually allows you to take a picture of text and it actually analyzes it and finds out all the information about it. I can't use this right now because I don't have a SIM card in here. There's a bokeh mode which allows you to capture images with crazy bokeh. Not just in portrait mode like the iPhone does, but you can actually capture some images in bokeh, which is pretty awesome. I'll show you some of the images that I get with this. Besides that, you have slow motion, which like I mentioned, you can record stuff up to 960 frames per second, giving you an incredible slow motion. The cool thing about this is that it lets you control exactly the right moment, like watch this guy here, slow motion. So it actually lets you control the exact moment of when you hit that slow motion. The next mode that I have in here is something called AR effect, which is something that's absolutely really cool. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna make, yeah, let's go here. Miniatures. So this thing's actually really cool because what you do is, uh, it, it's like an AR effect and it, all right, what is this doing? Okay, all right, um, how do I get out of here? Let's go back. Yeah, let's see what else we got. Let's do the fairy tales. So the cool thing about this is that you can actually like get little AR effects, control little munchkins. Oh my gosh, what is this? But basically as you move your phone, the object does stay right onto your screen. That's the whole effect of it. This can be kind of cool to play with for a little bit, but absolutely very annoying. I'm already annoyed with it. The next effect that we have, oh, so like I mentioned, you have manual controls. You can control your autofocus, your shutter speed, your ISO, your exposure, and your white balance right in the phone, giving you full control of your images. There's a mode called creative effect mode, which gives you control over different effects that you can use in your camera. Like this one's really trippy. This is trippy. Let's see how that looks. It has a creative mode, you know, you see you have bunch of cool filters and stuff that you can use you can make your images look a lot different than you know just a standard fo phone camera besides that we have panorama which of course you know take a sweeping panorama of the entire landscape and the last mode that we have on here is something called sound photo which is very similar to the uh, live photo that you get in iPhone so it records audio and I take a picture it starts recording the audio and then I take a picture it stores that audio with the image so that way later on you can also uh, hear the hear how it sounded when you took that photo pretty interesting stuff so that was just a couple of things that i do like about the sony xc3 um, phone i really like that it does give me a lot of creative control over taking photos and it gives me some production level quality when it comes to video this would be a good backup um, camera if anything ever happens to your phone or you want to just capture some b-roll footage without having to taking your camera out of your bag like i said it does shoot 4k video at 30 frames per second in video it also shoots up to 19 megapixels camera with the rear camera 13 megapixels with the front camera as you guys seen this does provide some really good quality when it comes to shooting and i do like that about this phone because this is something that they are innovating with sony thank you very much guys i hope you guys like this review please let me know what you guys think i'll see you guys later